Howdy guys, this is a mop on my head, I'm just kidding, I took a shower, and I washed my hair, and this is what it looks like, um, I don't mind it though, it looks fine to me, um, just checking out on the market, nothing really interesting happening so far, as, as we, uh, talked about earlier, I feel like we're gonna do something, and hit this thing, and then come back down further, and probably hang out here, this seems to be the next spot to, like, chill out at, um, and we'll have to see from there what's going to happen if we're going to try this again and come down to here, which seems totally logical. Or if it's something more like this and we break out. Or even here we break out. Um, but I, if, if I had to rate this, I'd put this at a 10%. Right? 10%. And this thing at maybe like a... I don't know. I, I, I'm going to put this at a 50 right now. And this at probably, you know, I guess, you know, even saying 40% seems high. It's probably less than 40% the likelihood of this happening. Probably something more like... It, it's hard to say it's dependent on how it feels like out here. But, you know, we'll see. Let's say it's about 15%. But it would be nice to get down here. I would very much enjoy getting a $25,000 Bitcoin. Um... <clears throat> and I just mentioned earlier this morning, we will be switching to Bitcoin purchases over Ethereum purchases because Bitcoin will be the first to recover. Then we'll have some time to switch over to Ethereum once that happens. Um, aside from that, I just want to show you the US dollar index right now. It is pumping. It is going up. Uh, not a great thing, but um, that's okay. Uh, the higher we go up here, uh, the worse it is for Bitcoin. So we want to see this come down um, for Bitcoin to pump. This just came in about a couple hours ago. It's likely that we're getting a rate hike. And it's likely that they're not going to be dovish. So it's likely that we're going to see tech take a hit. How much of a hit? I don't know. Um, and this is interesting. We're going to see tomorrow how much of a hit it takes. But I suspect not that much since most of the action is over. Which means that this move down will probably take some time, right? I know this This is a couple weeks here. So I think, I think we're going to take take our sweet time you know this is the bar down and we're gonna take a couple weeks maybe like you know i'm not even sure like it took two weeks the prior time maybe it, it took up to like 20 something almost 30 days up here i don't know what it was it was quite a bit of time though like let's see this is the one week down and to get down from get there to the the rejection was about 24 days so you know we can see let's see what happens um, and the last thing I wanted to touch on really quick before we left is this is the Goldman Sachs CEO, former, and he talks about how he wants an oar in the water in that he's skeptical, right? He's skeptical of what's happening, but he's interested, right? That this is something that's occurring. It's something that's kind of piquing his interest and that he doesn't want to kind of, you know, turn a blind eye to it, like how, how we see some current CEOs talk about it. And it might be that those current CEOs have to say what they're saying because of outside pressure. And now that he's a former CEO, he's allowed to say things like this. He has a bit more freedom. But I found this interesting. Uh, we're still at 14 transactions, so $14,000 in on the dollar cost averages. Uh, we're at about 11500 so about 30% down total. We have 14000 bucks, and we're 11500 so we are $2,500 down, which is one Ethereum down. Wild. And that's it. I'll see you guys later this evening or tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.